is good, Josh Shanti School of Game Man. Back in there with yet another reaction video. You can see I am back uh, in a, a, another new experiment here today, man. And that experiment would be trying to separate some different things. So for y'all, uh, I mean, you might notice a little bit of difference. I'm using my old camera now. Uh, what is this thing again? A DVC camera. I'm gonna still use my toner mic here. Uh, let me probably pull that closer to me. Uh, this toner mic here. That you'd be like all up in the camera <laughs> and then obviously using the elgato 4k you know capture uh to get the gameplay separate from the audio so hopefully you guys enjoy something new with this um i'm ready to go and get into the gameplay before we do you know quick updates uh, as always this should be going up on the 20th the 30th that means here in two days time the gaming channel should be lit and popping and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be posting all my old gaming videos over there uh getting them I don't know if I, I probably want to delete them off this channel, but getting them from over here to over there. So go watch them and then go drop, go subscribe, leave a like, and help that channel grow up to 1K as well. But we're we'll starting doing Let's Plays, and the Sly Cooper game is becoming closer and closer to reality. Now, obviously, your boy needs a green screen, maybe help darken the room a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to do. Maybe help darken the room a little bit, putting a green screen behind me, helping the, the lighting really reflect off me, and maybe make, make it a little bit better. You know, get better at actually looking at you guys instead of looking at myself. I don't know. Y'all let me know which one y'all prefer. Like, I think I've always done it looking at myself. But then I could obviously look, you know, directly at you guys. You know what I'm saying? Look you guys in your heart, your soul, and see what's going on. But that's the update. The channel is coming soon. Um, hopefully, you guys are ready for it. Let's Plays is going to drop. The Madden Rebuild will always stay true. And maybe some other Madden gameplays as, as time goes on. And then we'll actually be able to post more regularly of that it's for the people that did say they would subscribe and keep watching more and more if I posted them more regularly. So that'll be the outlet for that. Thank you guys so much for all that. Now back to the video. Can anybody out there hear me? Hear me? How y'all guys doing today, baby? We are back here for yet another Saints rebuild, man. And this is cut week. Mixed in with week one, two as well. But it's my favorite week of the season. It's Grim Reaper week. And I can't wait to go ahead and get into it because we got some cuts and some practice squads to be made. Now, uh, we did do all right during the preseason. I think we went two and one. Um, and I was happy with the play of a lot of people. Josh Garland still, you know, playing like normal. We got to see if we can't up and elevate his play because that's going to be what leads us further. I was really impressed with Teddy Bridgewater. Damon Irvin came in and did his thing a little bit. So obviously all three are still there, just fine. Um, halfback room got interesting. I will say that. The two coming in as the three and four are no longer the three and four, man. I got to put Alex Rowland on the practice squad and I got to release Stevie Scott the third because they did not perform nowhere near as well as these two. Luke Freeman and Junior Buchanan went off in the preseason let me just tell y'all that right now bro these two dudes were like that like that like that like can i look at i think i can look at their stats for her real quick they put on a show and every time i looked over to see what they were doing because i watched all three games to see them actually perform i mean only 3.9 a carry which doesn't look like a lot but every time i looked over this man was getting key first downs clutch first downs breaking tackles and really working efficiently which was something that the other two can't say that they were doing at all wait you say James, how do I get to middle linebacker? Right. Well, I'll tell you, this man is a dog. 14 for 88 and a touchdown with a broken tackle. Uh, 40 yards after that broken tackle was uh, was done. The 28 yards is his long. How 28 yards are longest, but you got four yards up to contact one. All right, something ain't matching up with these stats, but still 6.3 a carry in his limited time in preseason is amazing. So yeah, both those dudes earned their spot onto the roster. This is why I watched the preseason game, so I can see who really earned their spot. So. Stevie Scott, you ain't got no more practice squad time. Uh, you're only 86 speed anyway. Yeah, I got to go ahead and let you lose, bro. Save me some cap space, though. And then here at receiver, just keeping it pretty easy, putting these last two dudes, Ed Holmes, Mike Lu Lyman. Didn't really see anything impressive about these two to make me want to keep them on the roster over, you know, Tevin Hadley, the rookie we just brought in. I and mean, obviously the top five have been uh, foregone conclusions. Marcus Callaway, Trey Kwan Smith, Deontay Harris, Michael Thomas, and um, Callaway, who is hurt right now. Or not Callaway, Cole Stewart, who is hurt right now. But he's back on the roster, so we will rock out with those six uh, tight ends. All three of them are like that, superstars. We got our offensive line. We got 10 of them, right? Six, eight. Ah, so Mike Franklin got to be cut, unfortunately, unless for right now he'll be cut. I have idealized and thought about the idea of trading 
Ryan Ramsky. Now he's a 9-3 overall superstar, but we've got a hidden dev, 76, right behind him, ready to take over. Um, I think his contract is up after this year. If not, he's got like another season left. And I don't know if I want to let that, you know, hidden development just sit there and not really get no no burn. You know what I'm saying? He is 20 years old, thankfully, so he's very, very young. Uh, so what I think I might do is add to the trade block, see what value he pulls. But for right now, yeah, we'll have to go ahead and cut Mike Franklin, though. Uh, it, it's a shame. I wish he could go to the practice squad, but he's got to go. If I put my, if I put Maddox on the practice squad, that boy be snatched immediately. Go ahead, practice squad, Emmett Flynn. Practice squad, Mark Hatchett. Practice squad, Denzel Dalton. Practice squad, Jason Robinson. You know, he's two years older than the other dude. I probably could cut him, honestly. That's, that's just death. And the last two moves we made will be here at corner. Paul Thornton will go to practice squad. I saw a lot from Bowman that made me want to keep him up here on the active roster. So Quinnen Jones will be cut and will be our last effective um, casualty of Grim Reaper week. Sheep. All right, and I think the goal for the season will be to make the playoffs. I'm not going to go too aggro and say make the Super Bowl. I really don't know if, uh, I don't know. I mean, we, we made it last year, uh, but I don't know if that was our lucky year. Or if we actually are that good. So you got to prove it to me <laughs> as well as I got to prove it to y'all. So I'm going to say make the playoffs, though. We have been able to do that pretty consistently. And we'll be going ahead and kicking off the first game of the season against Dallas, who we have seen plenty of times before. You know, man, Zeke, you know he going to eat. Let's go ahead and just, I mean, ain't, ain't nothing to get into. You already know. Weekly strategy about to be to go ahead and stop Zeke. So let's just go ahead and get into the game and let something surprising happen. Maybe like we never left back on defense to ready to take out Dallas. And hopefully we can go ahead and do it. Looks like they're switching or changing up the formation entirely. Bringing over Darnay Holmes to the other side of the field. Will be a good matchup between our corners and their DBs. But what's going to be really uh, important here is how we stop Z from eating. Now we see here as well, Dallas going by a two by two set here. Hopefully they don't try to pass a lot. But I'm confident in our DBs and our pass game to where we should have that locked up. Which is, oh no, CJ Gardner-Johnson. Yo, yo, chill. Now that hurts <laughs> just a little bit now, but uh, that should bring in Devin Waters, the rookie that we drafted like three years ago, like at the beginning of the series. Uh, and he's made some good hit stick tackles, saved a couple games, a couple of key fumbles <laughs> late in games. So I'm not too worried about it, but still, you want your big time players up there against this kind of pass game. Second and 13 here for Dallas, New Orleans, only sending about four, dropping back in coverage one on one. Oh, darn it, Holmes. Bro, darn it. This is why y'all should have kept Amari Cooper. Darnay Holmes just got moss bar Amari Cooper. Don't tell me I'm going to switch the matchup. Don't tell me I got to switch the matchup already. First and 10 here. Quick throw goes out to the tight end, trailing behind, and y'all can't fall asleep. He stood there for like a second and fell right behind the receiver. Nobody else was in his place. I'm worried about the outside run. They passed all the way up the field. There you go, a little draw run play to the outside. Locked up, though. When they do run, we got it locked. A little Peyton Manning offense, a little Omaha, Omaha. Bunch to the bottom of the screen. It looks like another handoff to Zeke up the middle this time. And that is a huge game from what could have been stopped in the line of scrimmage. He just drug hard. That was Christian Barrymore. New signing, Christian Barrymore. Boy, you're supposed to be strong. Another, I would do it too. Hand off to Zeke. This, oh, Christian. Oh, bro. You almost got your get back. That boy is getting drugged by that man. Feast mode. First and 10 here, throws, oh, that's almost a yik. That yik almost happened so quick, I almost didn't have time to commentate it, boy. This boy, Dak Prescott, is getting the ball out fast. We're not even getting that much pressure here. I mean, only sitting really about four each time. Here goes another four-man pressure here. Locked up immediately. That's a rookie for you right there. Jerry's route taking over that left outside linebacker spot. Uh, he came in as the best overall. We got him, like, late, too. I think it was, like, third round or something. Like that. Throw over there. Let's go! A kick in the back corner of the end zone. That's that boy Marcus Williams. We should have kept him. But that boy Dak got a little too careless. And now that man, Josh Garland, get to come on the field. Great turnover just in the nick of time, too, right when they were getting close and looking like they were driving. Now time to see what the New Orleans Saints offense got to bring this year. One that was kind of underwhelming at times, but also could explode at times as well. 
Not a great start to the season as we got Deion Gordon holding already. <laughs> but at least it forces us to go empty. One of our my favorite formations for us to go to. Big pass to D'Angelo still over the middle. Trucking his way forward, getting taken down by a gang of Cowboys defenders for a 12-yard gain. Now let's keep it up here. We need to move down the field and we need to score. We don't want to waste it. You never want to waste a turnover. You know, you, you rarely get those in games. So when you finally do get them, you definitely want to make sure you're, you're getting seven, but at least cap off with a three piece. Because that's a turnover. That's a whole position that wasn't even yours. It wasn't yours to begin with. So you got to at least get. Did you? That's why you getting traded. That's so my bad, my bad. Bro, that's why you getting traded, bro. Third and five. From third inches, quick throw out. Michael Thomas is wide open. That's plenty of room for the. Oh yeah, he got there. Feet was hella across the line. That's that's a first. I was gonna say I, I know I see that four. But that's a first. Let me know how you guys are doing today as well, man. What things are you enjoying about the series? What things do I need to change about the series? We're getting close to the next Madden time to come up, so hopefully we're able to get a Super Bowl out of it before the end of this Madden's lifetime. That's definitely the ultimate goal to at least get one, and then start a new at Madden 23. You know, hopefully it comes before then we can do some seasons after that. But, you know, that's the ultimate goal is to get at least one Super Bowl ring here with Josh Garland. It's Alvin Kamara's wide open over the middle of the field and gets us to our side of the field down about the 48-yard line. But yeah, I can't wait for the gaming channel to come in, man. It's going to be lit. There's, the less plays are going to be fired. Just wait till all the things I got planned for you guys, man. It's going to be crazy. Hand off here, Alvin Kamara. Great, almost great blocks on y'all. So I forgot I didn't upgrade. The Angels still pass, pass uh, run block ability at all. New Orleans on a second and eight after the run play. Had some promise to it. Didn't end up going nowhere. Lamar Crawlers is now in the game, and he will catch the pass and get taken down. I worked a little bit with the halfback subs to kind of get Crawlers in there some more, so we weren't seeing AK get burnt out so quickly, uh, especially like early in the season. So we will see third and six here. After a little dump off, pocket clean out to Alvin Kamara. That's not going to be enough for the first at the 40. I don't know if we try a field goal here. Three yards to go. I'll probably go for it if I'm on the sticks, but let's see what Coach Smooth decides to do otherwise. 57 yarder does will let's got that leg i know he kind of old now Ooh -wee. it was wide left that actually definitely had the leg and it was wide left well now we now we like that we're back on defense wasted an opportunity and they got the ball in the short field already so handoff this zeke gets wrapped up that boy trey flowers eating today and we'll have to see if deon gordon is hurt before the next office possession i will check and if he is we'll put that boy camp maddox out there I mean, Matthew Rollins is the backup, but I want to see him get some playing time. That's a pick. Oh, is it going to be a pick six, though? That's Sean Dobson going up the field. The 20, the 10. Zeke is chasing. There's a penalty down. You better not have blocked in the back, bro. You are a terrible teammate, Holmes, or Flowers, whoever did it. Holmes, you are the worst teammate of all time. <laughs> Darnie Holmes, you owe him a five-course meal after that. And unfortunately, it does look like Dean Gordon is going to miss the whole game. So that boy Cam Maddox is out there at left tackle. We'll see how he does. As a quick pass goes out to Traquan Smith. So far, he looked like he held up at least for the short pass. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to be watching him, though. We're going to see if he gives up any pressure off that left side. Ooh, great run block to open up that run lane for Alvin Kamara. You saw him out there. He moved him all the way out there. And now we got Cesar Ruiz with an injury. That'll be bringing back up number 68, Jerry Chaney. As a backup center, and we are not missing a beat at all, at least with the run game, boy. Alvin Kamara, another beastie run up the middle to go ahead and end out the first quarter. Bunch to the top of the screen. Traquan Smith by himself at the bottom. Drop back. Throw goes right over the middle of Malcolm, Michael Thomas. Malcolm Thomas. Michael Thomas with the first touchdown of the season. And now up in the booth, we got to see if this team holds up. And let's just keep playing the same defense we've been playing. We've had two back-to-back -back turnovers here. And, oh, my gosh, two big plays followed by uh, a penalty is not what I wanted to see happen. Third and 12 will lead to a fourth and one, and they get the conversion. Wow. Okay, first time in the red zone today. We got to jump back down on the field because we we haven't seen this kind of offense. Not while, not while I was on the field, bro. I went up there to go grab a hot dog and soda real quick, and in two minutes, they managed to do what they couldn't do for a whole quarter. Drop back. Pressure's coming in, and Dak will get out and get loose. That is a foot race clean all the way to the end zone, sliding down the four-yard line. He saw nobody in pocket and got missing. Drop back. Clean pocket once again. No, it doesn't. 
He tried to escape, but that boy Cedric Blackburn, the rookie we took in the first round, is there to make his first career sack of the game. Passing lanes all locked up. Tight end wide open. There we go. Two-man ta two tackle. Don't let him drag his way forward. Two-man tackle. Short game, you know it's going to be a run up the middle. We got Amari Cooper, though, one-on-one. -on -one. Looks like Darnay Holmes, maybe, or Marcus Williams out there, one-on-one -on -one with them. Handoff, and Zeke is met in the backfield by that boy, Sean Dobson. Injury to Marcus Davenport. His injuries are running wild this game, but it looks like we'll bend, but don't break. I'll see offenses turn to hopefully, you know, do what, replicate what they did while I was down there, I'm hoping, and move the ball up the field. We had a pretty clean drive, I think, and you know, we had short field, but even before that, the drive was going pretty well. We just stalled out at the wrong possible time. Is a big pass for Michael Thomas there. Nine yard rush for Alba Kamara. Can we make this back to a two score lead? We're very well in field goal range. And with one yard to go, it looks like the touchdown will be made. I didn't see who got it. One yard touchdown rush by uh, Alba Kamara, but that was really weird. Whoa! I know y'all saw that. My thumb like jammed up and spit past it, bro. 84. What was that? At, hold on. Go back. 80. We got to go down to the bottom. It's going to take a minute. Hold on. 84-yard rushing touchdown for Alvin Kamara as the quarter ended. As we've been working a long drive after seeing that greatness, man, the Saints have been moving the ball on offense, stifling up on defense. And this is the domination I was talking about just as we get a long pick for Dallas and already... Well, okay, I thought they returned it all the way back down there. They really need to work on that, man. That was very misleading. I thought they had got all the way in their red zone already. So Dallas's first possession, not even one of their own, kind of how we opened the game with the, basically an interception. And we'll see if they're able to fight their way back into this one. Entering into the fourth quarter, they're moving and finally got onto their side of the field again as we get an interception from Darnay Holmes to take the ball right back. And we'll be trying to run the ball. It looks like we're seeing a little bit more Lamar Crawlers here late. As the score is still a uh, 18 point game here, Dallas has to make some big plays and score quickly if they want to get back into this one. And as far as what we'll do, I mean, if they get back onto their side of the field, ooh, it looks like we might have a chance to score again. You know, we haven't watched much of the game. Let's go see if we can get this drive punched in. Go get a touchdown. Second and 14, we've gotten three turnovers off Dallas here today, forcing them to pass the ball, which Dak was not ready to do. Hand off Alvin Kamara. Gets tackled forward, thankfully, by Dallas, Dallas Cowboys defender. 180 well i mean mostly parts of the 84 yarder but even without that he's still at 80 yards or 100 yards for the day i mean four yards away but basically at 100 yards for the day even without the big run he's went off that's why we emphasize the run game here today 181 and touchdown and interception that's all i need josh garland to do give me about 200 yards let alvin kamar cook and the defense play good Ooh, this is why coach will need to be on the field more you see what happens when i'm down there they actually want to go for it now hand off to alvin that's a td and he got his third of the game, which was the goal. And a great game from New Orleans, 35 to three, a butt whooping as Abu Kamara did score there at the end as well as us getting you know, even more sacks and interceptions. Dak Prescott, we got the three picks on the day, gave it 201 yards and he threw for a lot, but Josh Garland, very efficient. Only seven incompletions under 95 yards, only one pick, AK 216, 7.7 .7 to carry four touchdowns. If he plays like that all season, we're golden. I mean, we got crawlers in there a little bit uh, to give him some kind of rest, but four for four yards. I thought he was in there more than that. I swear he was in like, like four or five straight plays. I know I watched one. I swear he was, maybe I watched all of them come up live and I just didn't notice it. Uh, but eight for 77 and a touchdown here for uh, Michael Thomas. He had a great game. We only gave up 71 to Cooper and other guys that had over 100 yards. And we're kind of missing that other passing aspect without Cole Stewart. I mean, Trekwon Smith 41 and Harris 26 with no drops. So it was really the Michael Thomas show with no Cole Stewart to kind of oppose him on the other end. Let me actually, I do want to look at blocking. It looks like, yeah, these are only two sacks. Games. So we didn't even touch the ground either. So that's with rookie. Oh no, we did. So, okay, let me let me organize it. Okay, Cam Maddox did give up a, a sack today. So did Ryan Ramsky. Uh, nothing about Deion Gordon, but he didn't play most of the game. But mostly just our tackles there. I was hoping to say that he didn't give up no sack. That's all I was hoping to do. And then defensively here, who got the turnovers? We're gonna go just our stats. I don't care about Dallas's stats. I don't even care about Dallas's team. 
Two sacks for the rookie, Cedric uh, Blackburn, one and a half for a new addition, Christian Barrymore, with Peyton Turner coming in the other half. Remember, Marcus Davenport did go down with that injury, so we'll have to check that out. He does have the injury marker by his name, so that could be bad. Interception for Holmes, Sean Dobson, and Marcus Williams. We saw that. Should have been a pick six, but your teammate ruined it for you. After the game, we got a couple upgrades to do. A couple for the running backs. Uh, Lamar Crowther's getting getting one here. I think I'll just go ahead and upgrade his elusive back skills. Uh, get him ready so that when he does have to come in, I might play with it a little bit more, give him a little bit more touches. But when he does have to come in, we're not missing a beat at all. John Brown, I need you to be ready just in case Sean Dobson gets hurt. I can't have no 70 lurking in the middle of my field. So I might bring like a safety down or something. Give him that. And then Luke Freeman. He was balling in the preseason. He's a receiving back first. I'm going to work on, you know, let's keep him that. We'll keep him that for now. Keep him as a receiving back. Keep upgrading that one. And maybe, you know, that'll be some relief there. Make him a third down back if he becomes beasty and feasty enough. And that'll do it, man. We will go into this next week. I don't know why the standings must be glitched. It's only showing our record. But it looks like Atlanta went 1-0. It looks like they won their first game. So let me click in here so we can actually see how the rest of the division went ahead and played out. NFC South. Everybody but the Panthers won their game this week. And look at these scores, 38-35, 21-7, some domination there. And then 20-35 got, we'll say got beasting and feasting. I mean, he lost by 15, he gave up 35. That's a beasting and feasting. But let's check out the injuries real quick before we get up out of here. Obviously, we got the regional scouting focus we will have set up for next time. I'll probably do that off camera, show you guys at the beginning of the next video. Um, Weekly strategy is always some upgrades because the offensive line did receive 4,500 XP. So I imagine Cam Maddox probably has an upgrade along with some of the backups. And then we got Chas Rat coming back from injury, which is great. Let's go see how some of the other injuries have played out. Obviously, Cole Stewart will be back week three for the 49ers. He had two weeks left and he's the only one left that is injured. So uh, Marks Davenport back and Deion Gordon back as well as Chas Rat, our backup right outside linebackers back as well. So. That's all we got for today. We do have some trade offers. Uh, I'm gonna throw that in the next video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that in the next video. We got the trade offers for Ryan Ramsey coming through. If I see something good, if I see like two firsts, we might have to be out of here. If I see two first round picks, it might be wraps for him. But I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Leave a like on your way out and share out with friends and family. The next video that should drop, Friday, April 1st, will also signify the first day of the gaming channel being out live and released. These will still post over here until we catch up chronologically over there. Then they will stop on this channel and go full time over there. Schedule is trying to, going to try to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. While I'm uploading everything from the past, it will be every day. And I'll keep those updates going throughout the re reaction videos and on the next Madden video so you guys can know. So I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. It's me, your boy, Shuck Toot Smooth, AK Coach, AK Coach Smooth, but AK Black Okage, Black Antar, King Leo. And we'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Call Pitch. We ain't gonna be smiling after the next video. Coming for you. Pause. Peace.